All right, so that's all for today. Um, tomorrow, I'm super pumped about. So, you know, it with this, it's sort of like the same thing we did with imperative programming. We're just kind of like, you know, we got to do like variable assignments and loops and if statements. And there's all these like basic little building block pieces that we got to just got to get out of the way because we can't do anything interesting until you know that stuff. And same thing with objects. And so that's what we've been doing the past couple days is just knocking off some of this basic stuff, right? So now at this point, after today's lesson, you can design an idiomatic sort of uh, standard Java object. If someone asked you like, you know, at a programming interview or as part of a job search process, you know, create an object that has these couple of fields and do it in the standard Java way, you would be like, okay, I'm gonna create the object, I have private fields, I have a constructor that sets the fields and then I have getters and setters for every field. Um, that, that's it, right? And in fact, this pattern is so ingrained in Java that many, I should say many, any good Java um, tool to help you edit it, which we're gonna start using in a few weeks when we start doing Android, will have this function built in that'll generate these for you because it's so cookie cutter, right? We're doing it by hand and we'll continue to do that way, but this is just very, very standard code. So now you know this. And so now what we're gonna do tomorrow in particular is we're gonna spend a day talking about data modeling. And that's really what objects are for, right? So it's like, okay, let's say I have a particular type of problem I wanna work on. How do I design an object to store information that I need in order to solve the problem. And then we'll add some methods to it that help us work with that type of information. And this is really the power of Java objects. We'll come back and we'll probably do this a few times over the next couple of weeks, you know, just to, to practice and because it's fun, right? Because this is on some level, our ability to crack Java's type system open and really be creative and come up with new ideas about how to do things. So tomorrow we'll get some practice doing that. It'll give us a chance to apply everything we've learned and set you up well for tomorrow's homework problem and the ones that you'll work on in the future. See you then.